Hello everyone, this is Will Rosenblum, librarian trainee at the Belmore Memorial Library. Uh, instead of a traditional lecture this week, we're going to do a little cooking demo on how to roast a chicken. Um, first thing to understand is there's really no recipe that I'm going off of, this is just method. This is how I like to do it, uh, but everyone's tastes are different. So if there's something I do that you want to substitute, go for it, it's all just for fun. So come on over and I'll show you how I like to roast a chicken. So I've got my bird here. This is about um, five and a half pounds. All right, so uh, not, not quite a whole roaster, but almost there. Um, I have here some olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, two shallots, uh, two dried bay leaves, and I have some fresh sprigs of thyme straight from the garden. So first things first, we are going to take our shallots and just cut them the long way. Just like that. You don't have to worry about peeling them because, um, you know, it's you're not eating the shallots, you're just using them to flavor the inside of the bird. We'll take the next one, slice down. Perfect. Okay, so now we have four nice pieces. I'm going to take my bird here and I'm just going to sprinkle some sea salt inside the cavity. Okay, to taste. A little bit of black pepper inside. I'm going to take my shallots and put them all inside. If they stick out a little bit, that's okay. Just try to get them as firmly in there as you can. Take my bay leaves. One and two. If you have fresh bay leaves, that's great. Unfortunately, I didn't have any of those in the garden today. Just the thyme, so I've got the dried bay leaves, and we're gonna take just a couple of sprigs of the fresh thyme. You know, don't definitely don't need that much. I'll save that for some other things later. And now that's all nice inside the bird. Okay, so that's the inside. Now we gotta do the outside. So I'm gonna take some olive oil, drizzle on top, and I'm just gonna rub that nice. Some people like to do a butter massage. I know Julia Child was very into the butter massage. Personally, olive oil does it for me. I'm, I'm fine with that, but if you like to do butter, do butter. Just to get the skin nice and moist and crisp, and it'll tenderize and caramelize very nicely in that oven. Okay, and then salt and pepper to taste. Again, it's totally your choice as to how much to use. I just think it's important to have both. I know myself personally, I do not think it's okay to do one without the other. It's like, you know, salt without pepper is like Frodo without Sam. It's just nah, never gonna make it. So I do a little both, I rub it all around, and it's good to hit all of the sides of the bird. So I'm also gonna flip and try to get as much on that back as I can. Okay, and I'm rubbing all around as I go, making sure I'm hitting all parts of the bird. Maybe I'll just do a little bit more. Also, what I think I'll do is I'm just gonna lift up the skin a little bit and put some salt and pepper in there just to get the white meat nice and flavorful and tender. Got a nicely seasoned bird here. Don't let that shallot come out. I'm not gonna truss or you know tie up the bird. I think that if you're doing a rotisserie style chicken, then yes, you should definitely tie it. But we're just gonna put it in a normal oven. Uh, no, no spinning, no turning. I think that's just about ready. I have the oven at 425. Um, this is a gas oven, so. I overshoot a little bit. I find it's a, not quite as consistent as, say, a convection oven. Maybe you can go under. I go over at 425. Ah, that, that's where I tend to get lucky. So we're going to put that in. And we're going to set a timer for two hours and come back. I think two hours is sufficient for a five and a half pound bird. Best way is if you have a meat probe, put that in. But I think I'm going to be safe with two hours. So I'll set the timer and then we'll come back. 
Folks, it has been two whole hours. Oh, Naya's excited. It's been two full hours uh, for our chicken to be roasting. Uh, I'm just working on some sauteed broccolini here on the stove top. Just olive oil and garlic. Uh, now we are going to go ahead and take out our lovely bird. Oh man, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, so let's just put that down over here by our cutting board. Okay, close our oven. And very quickly what I'm going to do with this nice crisp bird is I'm going to just take a spoon. I'm going to do a little bit of basting. Get those juices all over the skin, all over the meat. Excellent. And now we'll just take it out of the pan, put it onto our cutting board, and let it rest for a few minutes before we cut into it. And that right there, ladies and gents, come on in. That right there is our roast chicken. Give that five to ten minutes. It's going to be great. Thanks for sticking with us. We'll see you next week.